how to get these cameras to switch on together, to all switch off, to all start to record together, and all stop. Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about this little guy, the GoPro Remote. I'll be showing you how to set it up with a camera, and I'll be showing you how to set it up for something you probably didn't know it could do. Easily stuff up. Probably some of you are asking, why would you want to use a remote when you've only got one camera? Well, like in many sports, I expect you place the camera in many places, like on top of your helmet, on the end of a snowboard, in my case, up a tree, on a rock far, far away, and that means it's difficult to reach, if not impossible, to switch on and hit that record button. And this is where the remote comes in. So I haven't used the remote for a good number of years, and I was rummaging through my GoPro box and I came across it. And I was wondering if I could get it to work with the GoPro 8, I would then perhaps be able to get it to work with the rest of the cameras. And if I managed to do that, that means I could switch on remotely several cameras at once. And this would actually save me quite a bit of wasted footage of filming nothing. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect the remote to one camera camera and operate it, connect it to a second camera and operate that, and then I'll connect it to two cameras and show you how the re remote operates both simultaneously. I will then connect it to a third camera, which I will call group for future reference, and then I will show you how I disconnect the cameras from a group so it doesn't remain under the remote's control. And lastly, as I go through all this, you might spot the quirks or maybe benefits of using this remote. It'll be interesting to see what you think. If you leave your comments in the video description below, we can have that discussion. First, let's talk about the remote and the features it has. How does it work? Now, this particular remote I've had since 2016. Since then, GoPro have brought out new versions of this remote. This particular remote works by using a Wi-Fi connection to communicate with the cameras. From my research, it's unclear to me if it uses Bluetooth 2, I know the later ones do, and this helps preserve battery power. But in terms of how it operates, I don't think it makes any difference. So what you're gonna see here, and how I set this particular remote up, maybe small variations on how it actually syncs in terms of menus and bits and bobs like that, but the principles are all the same. So whether you're using this remote or the next generation of remote, you should be good to go. The other thing to note, as it's a Wi-Fi remote, the newer cameras can operate on two bands, a 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz. My Hero 8 defaulted to five gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz was the long-standing standard before five gigahertz, and there's no mode on this remote to change that band. But as you'll see from how I set these cameras up, it seems to work perfectly well, ranging from the Hero 5 to the Hero 8 with no problem at all. Now GoPro set you can connect up to 50 cameras. I've only got the three. This remote has a range of 180 meters or 600 feet. I haven't tested this. I would be quite happy with a very stable connection at 20, 30 meters. The remote is waterproof, which is great for the Scottish damp conditions. Though note, it will not operate underwater. That's not a limitation of the device itself, that's just a limitation of Wi-Fi in general. It has a small LCD screen, and this reflects the modes on the GoPro camera. And I've noticed, depending on which camera you connect it to, it will actually reflect the modes particular to that camera. That's kind of clever. The remote comes with an internal battery, which is charged by USB, and that also doubles up as a lanyard connector. To operate the remote, you would just hit the power button and it just goes into Wi-Fi scanning mode looking for available cameras you've already synced to. But, as we have no cameras already synced to this remote, we need to put the remote into Wi-Fi pairing mode. There are some instructions on the back of the remote, but I found they're not very clear. This is what you have to do. Be sure the remote is off. Hold down the red record button and then power on the remote. It then should enter into Wi-Fi syncing mode like this. For the purposes of demonstrating how to use the remote, I'm gonna turn the cameras around so we can see their view screens. The remote is already set up to use the Hero 8, so we'll just go through how we use the remote with the camera in normal usage. Then we'll go into pairing mode. The remote is scanning for the only available camera, the Hero 8. The Hero 8 should now wake up. As you will find, this may take a few seconds. The remote now reflects what you would see on the camera's front screen. By momentarily clicking on the power button, 
we move through the different modes of the camera. Hit the record button and we start recording. Click the record button again and we stop recording. A sustained push on the power button on remotes which is off the remote and the camera. Now I'll switch on the camera and disconnect it from the remote. Using preferences go to connections, scroll down and look for reset all connections. A dialog will pop up, choose reset connections and the camera will momentarily reset. The remote and the camera are now separated. To resync the Hero 8 back to the remote, we need to go back into the camera preferences, choose connect devices, then choose remote. To enter remote pairing mode. Now put the remote into Wi-Fi syncing mode. In a few seconds they should pair up. The number one will appear on the remote's display indicating it is connected to one camera. Pairing successful, the remote can now control the camera again. Now that the remote is connected to the Hero 8, connect the same remote to the Hero 7 camera. The best way I've found to do this is to remove the batteries from all the cameras that are already synced. In this case, I'm going to remove the battery from the Hero 8. Like with the Hero 8, we need to switch on the camera, go to Preferences, go to Connected Devices and set up Pairing. Now we put the remote into sync mode and let it search for and sync with the Hero 7 camera. Once the remote has found the camera, it will change to show it is connected with one camera. The Hero 7 camera should now reflect that it has made a successful connection with the remote. Now switch off the remote and switch it back on again and we'll cycle through the Hero 7's modes. Just put the Hero 7 into record mode for a few seconds. Okay, so we switch off the remote, put the battery back into the Hero 8 and switch it on. We should be now ready to sync two cameras. Switch on the remote. It will find two cameras. The cameras wake up, indicated by two cameras on the screen. We're now ready to go through the modes. And we can also hit record. Both cameras will start recording simultaneously. Stop the recording on both cameras. switch off both cameras simultaneously. Now we will add the Hero 5 to the group by putting it into pairing mode. Put the remote into syncing mode again. Note because we haven't removed the other camera's batteries, the Hero 7 and the Hero 8 come to life. Switch off the remote and all the cameras switch off too. Now if we switch back on the remote, the remote now switches on all three cameras and we have control of all three cameras. Once the remote has established connection to all three cameras, this may take a few seconds, it will show the number of cameras in the screen, in this case three. Like before, the remote can cycle through all the modes common to all three cameras. We can set record on all three cameras and stop. All cameras switch off. To remove this Hero 5 from the group of three, we need to reset its connections. Having now switched off and then on the remote, the remote now has control of only two cameras, the Hero 7 and the Hero 8.
That about concludes how to use your remote with a group of cameras and how to remove a camera from a group momentarily. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hoped it was useful. If you have any comments or questions, please add them in the video description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it even more, please hit that subscription button. Be sure to switch on notifications. Keep safe, keep well, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.